68 Camaro, come on. Scott? You have a car. Is it? The one? Dave and Scott, welcome back for another ride. Uh, this is gonna be one of the wildest, craziest stories from the uh, 70s, early 80s, late 60s. Normally we don't chase rumors, okay? We just don't have time for it with as many known locations as we have. But today we received, uh, one of, let's just get into it. I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna set this up with the, whatever happened back in the 70s, statue of limitations, has long passed because we're not de we're not dealing with like homicide or you know anything like that. We're dealing with possible thefts, whether whether this was police re police related or it was a outlaw motorcycle related. Let's just get into the story and introduce you this morning to a gentleman by the name of Tab. And anybody with the name of Tab, you know this is going to be a good story. <laughs> Tab, you called me up. Like I said, I, you know, if one of those stories, and I know you don't want to go a certain direction, we're not going to say what name, but I really think that, I, I think that even though it is a very notorious, again, it's the Statue of Limitations, whoever actually did it back in the 60s and 70s is not going to get in trouble for this. And I think it's just going to be one of those like amazing things if it's true. Like, like we're talking like world news if this one's true. Right. It, it, if it's true and we locate what we're looking for. What, first of all, just tell us, what do what you believe is down here? Well, I believe that we're going to find somewhere between 150 and 300 Harley Davidson remains. I, I, my, my jaw just went... <laughs> How did you come to this story? I was told by an old timer many years ago that I got very close to. Um, and he, he told me that as a youngster, and all, uh, I, he joined a motorcycle club and, um, hey, aren't you in a motorcycle club? Uh, not this type of motorcycle club. Dave, Dave looks like he could be in a club. Like, look at them tats. I mean, yeah. he, he's definitely I, I hardcore. I used to live in the motorcycle neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. But I've never actually owned or ridden a motorcycle. I did. And uh, he was quite taken by my bike, and and, and he uh, he uh, gave me the warnings of, hey, you, you want to stay away from the outlaw motorcycle clubs, and told me the story that changed his life. He said that as a prospect, he was um, um, put on the chore list of collecting up some parts, which meant going out and stealing other people's motorcycles, or borrowing them, or however you want to call it. And, and, but, and with this, you know, real quick, let me interject here, because as I shared this story with a few people, they said, you know what, Jared? Back in the 70s, I had a Harley stolen, and I mean, and, and it came up multiple times as to, yeah, Harleys were stolen during this period of time. So I'm starting to believe your story, the, you know, the research that I was doing on it. like. It, it's, yeah, it's not was, it's not far fetched as to what like this could be legit. Well, it's this isn't new to this area, you know. I mean, uh, yeah, in the 60s and 70s, parts, stuff like that. Yeah, you know, it's how you gathered your parts to build your bikes. Quite hopefully, the story rings true, and we pull up some parts today. On that note, I mean. 150, 150 to 300, all in the same location, right? Like all tossed off the same point. Yeah. Was, hopefully, it's not. You know, if, if it's in somewhere between, you know, 10 feet and 60 feet, we're gonna find this these parts pretty quickly. If it's deeper than no. 60, we're in 90, 95 feet of water. And I've been under that. I've been in this area. Yeah. Close to where I've been, been told under that that it is. On the other side. Right? Yeah. 106 feet deep under there. Yeah. So I said, well, give me that gear, I'll do it. So, so Tab has given us the uh, secret coordinates to this uh, location. Scott, you've got your boat with sonar. I've got my little boat with sonar. We... Let's go see what we can go, let's find. Let's go do it, yeah. This thing's just been sitting here forever. You should buy that one, Dave. You ever wanted to live on the river? No. Just next to it? 
Thanks for the fight. Stop resisting! We're going too slow and you're impersonating a lot of people. That's YouTube, that's, that's YouTube. I, I have evidence of you now. All right, so we got we got something there already. Um, I mean, it's not a pile of motorcycles. I don't exactly know what that is. I haven't seen Tab yet. Mark's supposed to show up today too. Oh yeah. Yeah, Mark Lee. I love that guy. He's not a bad guy. Had fun talking to him. So I mean, I, I've got plenty of rocks here from the slope that's down. I got something that's down there, but it's not, I mean, it's no pile of motorcycles. Okay, let's turn the 360 on and see what we can find. You see anything over there, Scott? I feel like the top of the town there, there's some objects that look like, I mean, it's really hard to tell, but more, you know, maybe they're tires, maybe they're wheels from a bicycle. I would expect to find Bicycles and yeah. shopping carts, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, especially off of this right here too, up here. I would expect a lot thrown over there, but maybe people can't throw that far either. So I didn't hear that part of the story. You said that he, he said that a U-Haul truck. Said that they had, they loaded the stuff up in a U-Haul truck, a box truck, uh -huh. and then made a couple trips and drove out under the bridge and threw him off. And he was indicating right around where the arch hits the roadway. Okay side down there that looked to me like the the most opportune spot if you're gonna do that but you know what else we have though today we have that 68 Camaro to go look for let's go find that so I mean another is that rumor gonna be true the guy told you he did oh, well, did this you? guy this guy told me too yeah, he's telling you a story from somebody else did you, didn't you talk to the guy that I told well I talked to the, the guy that I talked to the guy that spoke directly to the guy that did it and what we are talking about, don't go anywhere because even if we don't find these motorcycles, we have another uh, rumor we're gonna go uh, bring you in on. But it has to do with a 68 Camaro that was dumped 30 years ago. Another story of a scorned ex-girlfriend who got cheated on, Dave. If you have a nice car or a nice truck, don't cheat on your girlfriend because we'll have to come out and find your car later. Yeah. And so we're uh, heading to this pond. It's a uh, the northeast corner of this pond. 30 to 50 feet out, he says that he watched it sink. And that the other guy that helped him actually do this is in jail. And this guy is on his deathbed. Like he's had four strokes now and he's not worried about, it's been 30 years. He's not getting, he's not in trouble for it anymore. Statue of limitations is up anyway. Yeah, yeah, statute of limitations has run out. So he is, there's nothing, nothing's gonna come back on him for telling a story or telling us about it so we can go find him. Yep. Oh, we, we got something in front of uh, Dave here. I mean, it's no pile of motorcycles and it might just be a rock. Yeah, I might have a car down there. Really? Yeah. Right back over here. I mean, it looks like I was... Let me come back around this way. Hey, Scott. Yeah. Right here in front of me. About 20 feet. Identify if that's a car that's down there. Is that a car? Possibly. I don't know how it had gotten off right here. I mean, it could have come off the road and then floated. Off into the water. Yeah. What are you thinking? Right? Off to the right, right here. I mean, here, I mean, come take a look at what I'm looking at. Okay, look at that pile right there. Right here. Uh huh. And that's right underneath the bridge in that spot. It's not smooth on top either. No. This is smooth over here. And, and so this is like all silt and sediment built right. up. I mean, this story might be true, Dave. Sure. Yes, sir. Who gave you the info that these bikes were here? You know, if somebody was showing up on time, you'd have all that information, so you're gonna have to wait for the video now. I understand completely. Hold on, wait, wait, we got Scott. He's not hip. He's not hooting and hollering, though. Scott. He's not working what? I said, you're not hooting and hollering. Woo! Nothing, huh? I, I didn't find anything. A bust, huh? But I tell you, it's a lot different being down there than looking at the side scan, because... Oh, yeah. There's massive mountains of log jams with 
miles of garden hoses wrapped around and fishing gear and how about sturgeon? You see any sturgeon today? I didn't today? see any sturgeon. I think it was too warm, right? They're yeah, we did a lot of uh, magnet fishing while you were down there, so we drug the magnet all over this area. I'm surprised you didn't get caught. There's a, there's a lot of magnets down there. I mean, there's not a lot of metal, but there's a lot of just sticks and cables and stuff. All right, well, are, are you in uh, to yeah. join us on the 68 Camaro? Uh, possibly, yeah. All right, well, let's uh, make that our next mission. Well, Tab, we really appreciate the uh, coming out. We were hoping it was gonna be true. Oh, I, 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 I'm sure we were. Yeah. I'm sure we were. Our mission. Like I say, you put that into a question. I've never been able to get down there. I saw you guys and said, they've been there. Here's one. They've been there. Go back and look again. Yeah. I appreciate you coming to do it. Hey, absolutely. I could never afford it to hire a salvage crew to yeah, we have fun. check it out. But uh, don't go anywhere because this video is not done yet. We don't know if we're going back to Oak Grove where we pulled out a Corvette and a Jaguar and we're going to do some more scanning over there. I think we should actually go there. And it's then, closer. Yeah, it's closer. And then also check on the uh, 68. Like it's only like 11 o'clock. We got plenty of time. Well, let's go it's enjoy also the day. a good thing because this isn't the only treasure I know about. Oh, now, now he oh, starts telling us. The Lost Tillamook Indian Mine. All right, there's a pinpointed spot that an in the two Indians point the, the direction. No, no, this, you know this Walk is starting to sound like. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. This is starting to sound. This is starting to sound like the movie Goonies. That's over by there by Tillamook. Well, this well, is very true. top. And what? Three, three days, two sleeps, to the White White Mountain, where water runs towards black to a blue lake, and there in a black canyon, you will find it. Well, sounds like I know what we're doing today now. Let's go. All right. There you go. You heard it here from Tab. Uh, heard it here first. Oh, you can read it out of the newspaper if they still make it. We have four ponds that are out here. And of the four ponds, two of them are park ponds now. And these, these are houses and apartments didn't used to be here. So pond one, pond two, pond three, and pond four. And so what we need to do is we need to uh, huff it down this path right here and over here to the corner of this other pond. And I have been told that in this pond over here at the northeast side, 30 to 50 feet out, they physically with their own eyes watched this 68 Camaro sink. Like what if we could actually see it right here? That's possible, right? So some people have seen things on Google Earth before. They've solved a number of missing person cases no, I think pictures of Google Earth. I think that's just algae there. So if you, if you look at like the roads back in the day, I mean these are now park trails, but remember back in the day these were all just uh, gravel roads that people used to. Yeah, yeah. None of these huge apartment complexes would have been there 30 years ago. Yeah. Well, look at all those dragonflies everywhere. Wow. Slide. Yeah, yeah. So this is pond one, correct? Yep. But we're gonna go across over to there. And then we'll jump over to the other pond. Yeah, well, we'll and what I'll do is, over, right? I'll circle the uh, perimeter of this. Because a car could have gone in anywhere around this. Same thing with the other side too. So we'll check the- I wanna just make a lap around the whole thing and then, yep. then we'll pull out over there. And yep. So the, so the people that saw this car splash into a pond, I'm sure if it's exactly this pond, no, it's one of the ponds. They gave me the exact location. And that's the other that's pond the other over pond. there. That's the other pond. So this is just a bonus pond. But there has been rumors as well ah. that cars have been dumped. Because think about where we're at. We're in the middle of what used to be, I mean, there used to be no, nothing. This was nowhere. Yeah. And so people would come here to dump things. Supposed to be just straight ahead, northeast corner. All right, well, we'll know in uh, three minutes if that car's in there. Man, the visibility, visibility right here is great. Yeah. How close to that corner did he say? Huh? How close to the corner did the guy say? Uh, northeast corner. Like, but yeah, I mean, you're not gonna get over there. It would never sink. It's too shallow. Okay. 
Just a big rock there, Dave. I thought we had something. That's the size of a car, though. I would think it's too far from the edge to be a car, too. And a fish. Yeah, I mean, it could float. I mean, we've had cars float for up to 10 minutes before that we've heard about. Yeah. Well, we got something there, Dave. Where at? Yeah, I, it's, it's almost like right in line with that. Like, I don't think that it's the dock there because of the way that this is on the bottom and it was both on left and right. So I'm going to come in straight towards it. Like, it seriously looks like a car, Dave. Yeah. Bingo, bingo, bingo. We got something underneath there. Under the dock? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Sorry. Didn't mean to bunk you there. Yeah, we have something right here. It's, it's like 10, 15 feet right behind me. All right, we're going to turn on the uh, 360. Like this, I don't know what it is. Get over top of it, we'll drop the magnet on it. Confirm. Range. Oh yeah, it's right behind us. No, there's no freaking way. This might be it, Dave. Scott, I think we've, I think we found it. Right there? Yeah, right behind us. That tell me that doesn't look like a car there. Right there. Right here? Yep. Does that not look like a window? Wheel well? Yeah, kinda. No Scott, Scott, Scott! Where'd Scott go? Back up a little bit, let's drop a magnet on it. Yeah. No, it's right there. Guess what? Solid metal. Now, is there any chance it's a... Uh... No, there's no chance. If you look at this, Scott, go get your snorkel stuff real quick. You're you to be running away. Yeah, run, run away. <sighs> My heart's racing right now. I can see that. So you're stuck on that pretty solid? I'm stuck, well, I mean, it's rusty. So, I mean, I can pull it off. Right, but I'm saying you're... you're... Yeah, it, it's solid. It is a solid metal piece. And it's just out of visibility, too. Yep. That's all it has to be. Think about those cars over at um, uh, Twalton that we found. Oh, I know. I mean, they were only... I mean, the RX-7 was only eight feet underwater. Oh, we're, I mean, we're looking right at a car there. 68 Camaro, come on. Ow, fish it. Dave, ow, frickin', ow! I can't move! Oh, it's on my foot! Dave, you gotta get, oh! Hold on, you can't, no, don't move, don't move, don't move! Oh, it hurts, oh, oh, it's pulling more. Oh, I can't get it. Don't paddle, don't paddle! I don't even know what to do. Ow! Okay, I need to bring the whole thing up. It's stuck on the bottom of my foot there. Okay, it came off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that thing hurt. I can imagine. <laughs> oh, look, we caught a fish. Yeah, a fish with a fish hook. Thanks, buddy. Bring me some good news, Scott. I will. Good news is I wore a wetsuit. Woo! Yeah, you following the line down or are you just going to kind of guess? I'll follow your line. Yeah, might as well. It goes straight to it. Like 60 seconds, we're going to know. Come on, Scott, you're killing me. Get I back know. up here, <laughs> come on. You've been on it long enough. Just come back and tell us. Scott? You have a car. Is it? The one? Well, I don't know, the visibility is very bad, but I just find this came out of it. Scott, I need to know. Is it the right one? Well, the visibility is literally. I don't care, you need to figure it out. Fingertips, Scott, <laughs> fingertips. Is the viz really that bad? Oh, it goes from, it goes to absolutely pitch black. Uh, I have no idea, what, I can't see anything. I can't see the, uh, I can't even see the color. I almost was able to bring up the whole bumper. I was just reaching around in what felt like the trunk, uh -huh. maybe, and this came out. But that doesn't, I have no idea, that doesn't seem, uh, 
Looks like some of these stereo speaker wires from a... No idea. I mean, you could put an aftermarket in the, in the 80s. What year did it go in? Yeah, 30 years ago. Yeah, okay, so that could be... So that'd be a 1990 it would have gone in. Let me try again. It's, 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 it's bizarre. It goes from like... Do you, have, do you have your knife on you? No. I mean, Dave, come on now. How many other cars are going to be in this exact location that we were told to come search? I don't know. Only one. There's only one car. That's how the story goes. And it's 30 to 50 feet off, and it's, they saw it sink right it's there. It's the wrong corner, but it, it's the right spot. Some people don't know northeast, south, and west, though. Right, no, I'm, I'm saying that. It's, it's not the corner we were given, but it, it's the wrong corner, north, south, east, west. But if you're going to put a car in this pond, it's the right corner, because that's the easiest place to do it. Uh -huh. And I'm sure that dock wasn't there 30 years ago. Dude, I don't, I think it's a Volkswagen bug. It's not a bug. On sonar, it doesn't look like a bug. Yeah, I, uh, I went all over. I mean, it's got... A bug doesn't have a trunk. Well, this sort of doesn't have a trunk. It has, like, grates. I don't know. All right, give me your stuff. I'm going down. Okay. I'll tell you exactly what it is. Okay, so the door... Big window. The doorknob. Angle. Here's one thing. When you go to grab the doorknob... It's not one of these you pull out. It's one of those where there's like an inside little latch you pull, like click, like on a Volkswagen Bug. You know what I'm talking about? You know how the handles, Right. you go to grab the handle. You don't just pull the whole handle. You kind right. of push this little other lever in between the handle, snaps now, it I'm open. I'm thinking of 68 Camaro, Camaro. Camaro. handle that you grab it and you push the button. Okay, it doesn't have that. To open the door. It does not have that. Images. This was in it. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that's it for sure. Yeah, that's it for sure. Okay. 68 Camaro. It slopes on the back. Yes. Okay. It'd be a fastback. The, the small. What about the grill? Trunk. The car itself would be I pretty square. Actually, how, I actually feel. How the, long was the hood? It's it's really hard to tell. You have to go down there. And just it's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go identify this. Yeah, you are. Okay, so the, some of these are in SS. So I just gotta feel for the front grill. The SS would say that. Yeah, so I just need to do a little bit of Brel on the front. Or okay, the SS would have a gas cap on the back. This is SS on it. On the back as well. You might be able to. I mean, you, might, you might be able to get that off. No, you can find I, I that. Felt around. The front grill, I think, I'm not positive, might have an SS in the grill. They all. But have, I'm pretty sure it would, it would have the emblem on the side with. And round headlights. I'm just saying. I yes. grab the door handle. All right. Right. Go that door handle. Right. Well, well uh, no, no. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I know exactly what it is now. It's it's not the 68 Camaro. What is it? It could be a 68 Beetle Bug, <laughs> but it ain't a 68. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it's a 68 Camaro. No, it's a 68 Beetle Bug is what it is. Okay. Did yeah. uh, did anybody no. did anybody else collaborate with that idea when they when you first got some uh, intel back from the first guy who went down? No. But this is the wrong corner too. I mean, the, the, I, I, I don't know, Scott. The thing is, are we gonna be pulling this one out? Probably not, because one, we're not even supposed to have a boat in here. So we have evidence that we broke the law to begin with. Probably gonna put this on YouTube anyway. And there's uh, gates that are closed everywhere, so we can't get a tow truck in here. So that means that this car may end up staying in here, unless somebody has a hookup over there at the uh, Fairview. City of Fairview. City of Fairview. City of Fairview. Hey, yeah. we found out there's a car in the pond. Yeah, we, we found a car in the pond. We're willing to get it we'll out for you. We'll come and get it out if you let us. Yeah, if you let us, we'll come get it out for you. We followed up on the uh, motorcycle leads. That one was a bust. That was a dud. 68 Camaro turned into 68 Bug, or 72 Bug, or 74 Bug, or whatever a bug it is. On that note, it was a good day in the end. We didn't get the motorcycles. We didn't get the 68 Camaro. I hope you had a good time with our little uh, scouting adventure anyway. That's it for now. Be sure to subscribe where uh, next time we'll bring you another car or a truck or a Jeep. We don't know. See you next time. Later, later. Bye-bye.